In the quaint and unsuspecting town of Beldor, nestled deep within the heart of an ancient forest, a sinister tale is about to unfurl. The town, with its cobblestone streets and charming cottages, had always been a place of warmth and safety for its inhabitants. Evelyn, a quiet and introverted woman, found solace in her peculiar fascination for beloved pet rats. She had always cared for them, tampering them with love and care, treating them as if they were her own children. They were her escape from the loneliness that often plagued her. But one fateful day, something went horribly wrong. Her cherished pets began to grow at an alarming rate, their fur turning coarse, their eyes gleaming with an unnatural malice. Evelyn, bewildered and terrified, could do nothing but watch as her beloved rats transformed into monstrous creatures before her eyes. As the rats continued to grow, they broke free from their cages and began wreaking havoc throughout the town of Beldor. Panic and chaos consumed the once peaceful streets as the monstrous rats tore through homes and businesses, leaving destruction in their wake. The townspeople, whom Evelyn had known for years, now looked at her with fear and suspicion, whispering about the woman who had unleashed this nightmare on them. Desperate for help, Evelyn turned to her co-worker from the blood packaging plant, Mark, man of both intelligence and courage, Mark had always been a source of comfort for Evelyn in her darkest moments. Together they descended into the depths of her basement where they hatched a sinister scheme to end this reign of terror. Under the eerie glow of the moon, Evelyn and Mark lured the monstrous rats into a large vat filled with blood. It was a gruesome trap and their last hope to end the night once and for all. The rats, drawn by the scent of blood, descended upon the vat, their hungry eyes fixed on the crimson pool. As the rats writhed and struggled in the blood-soaked vat, Evelyn and Mark watched in horror and relief as the creatures met their grisly fate. Crushed beneath the weight of their own malevolence, the blood-soaked water turned dark. macabre reflection of the darkness that had consumed Beldor. In the aftermath, the town of Beldor struggled to rebuild and heal from the horrifying ordeal. The once idyllic streets now bore the scars of the monstrous rat's rampage, and the townsfolk carried the weight of their fear and distrust. Evelyn, now shunned by her neighbors, retreated further into her solitude, haunted by the events that had unfolded. As the days turned into weeks, in the weeks into months, the people of Beldor tried to move on from the nightmare. They rebuilt their homes and businesses, and life began to return to a semblance of normalcy. But the memory of the rats of Beldor still lingered in the shadows, a dark reminder of the terror that had once gripped their town. Evelyn, too, struggled to find peace in the aftermath. The silence of her now empty home was a constant reminder of the creatures she had once loved and the darkness they had unleashed. She could not escape the nagging question that tormented her. Was it truly over? Could the malevolent spirits of those rats still linger, waiting for an opportunity to return to the night? As the seasons changed and the years passed, the town of Beldor slowly began to heal. The scars of the past faded, and the townsfolk learned to live with the memories of the terror they had faced. But for Evelyn, the darkness never truly dissipated. She would live the rest of her days haunted, the shadows of her past, unable to escape the nightmare that had been her reality. In the town of Beldor, where the line between love and horror blurs, and the nightmares become all too real, the darkness may never truly be gone. The townsfolk, forever changed by the events, may never forget the night the rats of Beldor brought terror to the doorstep, and in the quiet corners of their hearts, they would always wonder if the darkness would one day return to claim them once more.